So in, just, in this video here we're just uh, covering how to delete sensors on the tire watch Rexa 2. So this might be, <clears throat> or maybe you have some extra sensors that you're not going to use that you bought in the kit. They're just going to use as spares and leave in the glove box or leave somewhere. Or you want to delete a sensor and add a new sensor if there's a replacement happening. <clears throat> so what we want to do is we want to I press like, the right button up here, which is the minus. And you'll see it's uh, giving me like an ID it's giving me an ID number and a tire position. So this is saying currently in the front left uh, tire position, this ID of the sensor is paired to it. And if I press the plus or minus buttons, it's going like, to take me through all the different sensors that are paired and their ID number. So in this kit, you can see there's obviously 12 sensors paired. So I'm going to delete the front, the front left one here. So I want to press the middle button and it says DE1 which stands for delete one. So then I want to press and hold the middle button and that's now been deleted. So you'll notice if I try and go to that front left tire now I can't go to it, it just skips over it because there's no ID on that sensor. So that's how you delete a sensor. Now to get out of the screen you press and hold the minus button, the right hand button here. And I'm back to the home screen and you can see we no longer have a front left sensor. So that's covered how you delete a sensor. And now we're going to cover how you pair a sensor. So it's, a, it's the same sort of like process but what you need to do is when you pair a sensor is to activate the sensor it's like activated when it has a change in pressure so that's why you you screw them onto the valve or screw them off of the valve so whenever you're pairing sensors it's best uh, to do this after the car's been sitting for 10 minutes or longer or first thing uh, before you drive anywhere because otherwise what will happen is the sensors will all be activated because they would have picked up a change in pressure and this can and this can make it a bit of a pain to pair so best to pair are uh, like first thing uh, before you drive the car or after the car's been sitting for 10 minutes because then all the other sensors will be in, uh, in like sleep mode still. Alright so just out by the tyre now, beautiful 40 degree a day here already so I'm going to sweat in a bit. So what you want to do is you just want to uh, press and hold the right hand button or the minus button. So you press and hold that down and you're going to come to the screen that says like bond. Now if I press plus and like minus it's going to take me through all the tire positions you can see here but we're only after the front right left one that like we were trying to have like bond before so now all I'm going to do is spin this like, sensor on and off you can see it's flashing like 11 here which is uh, the default uh, tire position for this this sensor says 11 on it So I've, I've screwed that off and you can see it's changed from saying like 11 to actually saying the ID of the sensor. So that's what you want to see. Uh, that means it's picked up the ID and everything's good. So I'm just going to press the middle button now. And it's going to take me to the next like tyre. Then I'm going to press and hold the right hand button. It takes it out of the spawn menu. And you can see now we actually have like a reading coming up on the front left like tyre here. It was reading zero there, um, so I just had to unscrew the sensor and screw it back on, and then it started picking up. So it's picking up 30 pound and 41 degrees. Um, so that is how you pair a new sensor to the system. So you pair a new sensor, like say you bought the, I know the six uh, sensor kit, and you want to pair some extra sensors to it to make it a 10 sensor kit. Or if you want to replace the sensor, so that'll be the start of, that video, of this video, deleting the sensor and adding the new one. So that's how it's all done. Also here, in this video, it's been like just been like showing the other uh, vehicle. If I press and hold the plus button at the top here. I just haven't had the caravan on because the caravan isn't here at the moment. So that's why it was just showing in disconnect mode, in caravan disconnect mode.